you can see, it's a glorious day here in Harvey. We're actually making hay. So um, Farmer Murray is currently out bailing with a nice little John Deere number. I've set up the parlour dairy and I've come down ahead of time to get the cows so his mum can let them across the road for me. Um, we have to go about a kilometre to get the cows and they've got so much grass out here at the moment that they're not particularly eager to come into the parlour and get some grain. So let's go get my girls. so they're all a bit runny. Try not to make cows run because it can have an impact on raising what we refer to as their somatic cell count, which is the same as a white cell count really um, in the udder. So we want to keep that below 100 if we can. That's 100,000. So we try not to run cows. Um, and you can see they're all down here, just beneath the trees, because it's a bit toasty today. It's got to about 30. Hello youngin, what you doing? There we go. Look at you beautiful ladies. So currently milking about 300. Come on! Come on! Come on ladies, let's go. Chop chop. As Molly would say in the dairy, let's get some motivation going. So just going to go right the way round, nice and wide. They know the sound of the bike. And as you can see, they're starting to move off. They know the game. Come on! There we go. There you go, look at that. Just like clockwork, they know exactly what they're doing and where they're going. That's a whole lot of beast right there that makes a choice every day, twice a day, to come into the parlour with me. And believe me, if these girls didn't want to move, they wouldn't move. And being able to make sure that I get all of the cows from the paddock and I don't leave any sneaky ones behind. It also gives me a chance to double check the fencing, make sure the line's up, doing a bit of paddock management here. So we are kind of block grazing this paddock to make the most of the grass. Um, we are down to 50% usage at the moment for this year for our water consumption. Um, we do have flood irrigation here, but we're still down to 50% of what we're allowed to run here, which I think is about one, which is about, I think it's 17 gigalitres, which is an awful lot of milk, um, awful lot of water normally, but with our current drought, which we are also affected by over here in WA, it's not just the Eastern States, um, we're down to just 50%. So obviously if we can't grow grass, um, cows can't eat, they don't make as much milk um and so on and so forth so we do our best to manage the paddocks as best we can and yeah come on ladies nice quiet bunch of girls oh a bit of a scratch there sweetheart all these cows or a lot of them their numbers start with a letter a so i tend to fondly think of roads back in england so when i see the a414 a10 a12 they know i've got a bit of a thing for them already come on come on sweetheart there we go. Come on ladies. Good girls. There we go. Up she gets. There we go. Come on. Oh, it's a long way up there. Good girl. There we go. And you can see them walking back there, just like I said, just shy of a K. So it's good ground and um, they've got good feet this bunch. So yeah, over to the dairy.